We are going to set a pitfall trap to find out which bugs live in this area and which ones are the most common. The bugs will accidentally walk into the trap if you set it well. You can use a key like this one to find out to find their names. You can use a clean, dry tin can. Be careful with the open edge in case it is sharp. Dig a hole big enough for the tin can to go all the way in. Put the can into the hole along with some sticks. These will help you balance the lid on top. Push the soil right up to the edge of the can. It doesn't matter if a little bit falls in. in. There shouldn't be any gaps or no bugs will walk into your trap. Use some bark twigs or leaves to make a lid for your trap. You might use the bottom of a plastic milk container or a, or a yogurt pot lid. Make sure the lid is high enough that bugs can still walk into the trap. Why do you think the trap needs a lid? I can think of two reasons. This is what the trap looks like from the top. You can hardly see it, so rain can't get in and drown your bugs. And neither can a hungry bird eat them all. You can disguise your trap with a few leaves. You must remember to check it every day and let go any bugs that have been that have been in your trap once you have worked out what they are now you know how to set a pitfall trap which is one way scientists use to sample an an ecosystem to find out what lives there.